Ask that, ask that again. Dinner with God or save the slaves? Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Can I have both? Nigga, no. You want to get one. Yeah, you want get one. Okay, which, which slaves are we talking about? Do you know that all people were slaves at some point in time? Both. Save the slave. That's it. Black niggers picking cotton <laughs> or dinner with God. Which so. one? If I were to pick which slaves to free, I would pick the men who were in the Barbary slave trade. Okay. Men in the Barbary slave trade or dinner with God? Dinner with God. Okay. Respectable. We would have dinner with God too. What would you and God talk about up there? I would ask him why he chose to glorify himself in the way that he did by permitting and allowing <laughs> sin to exist. I would, <laughs> I would ask him why he gave us a cool down for when we beat the meat. What? What did this guy just say? This is messed up, man. These people are crazy out here, bro. Boy, you know this ass super thick. I lie. Come on, that's what me so that it. Oh, boy. What's going on tonight? Why won't Hello. I focus? Why won't my camera focus? I don't understand. No, that's okay. So I'm gonna have to save the video as waste. Waste on thinner. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to beg it. Figure. The two of you need Jesus. We're gonna have you okay listen buddy if we're gonna have you on the podcast you gotta learn is this a podcast oh come on gonna have to so when you're watching this video you can you're gonna have to skip yo dear guy shut the fuck up you talk too much like real talk ugly ass nigga straight your hairline oh, sorry. god bless you Fuck all that, bro. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. You heard? You're wearing a cross. Why are you saying F all that? Do you believe in God? I didn't fuck that. I mean, he cool. You feel me? But this, this chain hard as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Don't hey, you, my nigga. Don't you believe oh. in, the, in, the, in the thing you're wearing on your chest? Yeah, that shit cool. It is cool. Why? Well, I can't say fuck. So it's just a prop. I, I didn't really say all that, but you feel me? Why? It's cool. Are you? A I can't be saying fuck. I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't say that, cause like you know, I ain't really. So you're not a Christian. I guess. I mean, my family believes that. I so, try to like join in. You feel me? So the cross you're wearing is just a prop. Have I wouldn't ever, say that. Have you ever heard the gospel before? No. Nah. Can I tell I it to you that. before you before you skip me? Can I tell it to you before you skip me? For sure. Tell me. I'm here. Jesus came into the world to live a perfect life, to die on the cross for all those who would believe. And when you trust in him and repent of your sins, you are forgiven of all your sins, past, present, future. And when you die... You can be with the Lord in peace and tranquility forever. Does that sound like good news? No, I'd be sinning a lot. When you become a Christian, you don't stop sinning. You fight your sin. So you try not I'm to sorry. say the F word. You'll fail I'm sometimes, sorry. but you'll try. Thing is, I'm not like I should be trying. But I ain't trying, you feel me? So you're so not I, ready. I do. You're not ready to try no. yet. No. You think you could try? No. I feel like I could, bro. Talk. Yeah. So, repent. Could. Trust in Him, and then try your best, 
and that'll be good enough to show that you are truly saved. Because it's not your righteousness that takes you to heaven. It's God's righteousness that is given to you when you trust in Him and believe in Him by His grace. That's the good news, man. No, for sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. You feel me? I'm gonna stop sending you. Feel me? I'm gonna stop like. Think about it. All, that. all right. Think about it. I'll keep you in my prayers. All right, buddy. Buddy. Yeah, yeah perfect. Perfect. <laughs> God perfect. bless you, bro. You good? You good? You good? God bless you, bro. Okay. Have a good day. Same day. Good talk. Man. Enjoy the time. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to write this down. <laughs> I have to write that down. Gospel presentation. Hello. Hello. Sometimes I could, sometimes I could. No. Copyright. Don't want that. Nope. Nope. Oh no. I hope I skipped it fast enough. What up, nigga? Skip me before I could say anything. Wow. Right, right. You too, Hospital. Presentation. And uh, waste. All right. Is anybody there? Anybody there? No? Yes? Okay, bye. Mm. I'm here wondering if... You what you want, Dane? Bring this closer. Uh, trying to get my camera to focus, but it's not focusing. Nigga, it's already focusing. Don't worry. Uh, Don't worry, bro. You're good. It's focusing. Good. All right. So, do you believe in God? Yes, I do. Hundred percent. Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Are you a Devout Christian? Nigga, I go to church every Sunday. That's good. That's good. Do you study God's word all the time? No, I don't study. Not all the time, though. How do you deal with the hard questions? Such as... Like, such as... If God knows all things, and he mm -hmm. knew that evil would exist... Why did he allow it to exist? So people can learn to make the right choices to enter heaven. Some people can make the right choice. Mm -hmm. So he allowed evil to exist so that people could make the right choice? Yes. So are you saying that if evil did not exist, people wouldn't make the right choice? Well, if evil didn't exist, how would there be a bad choice? That's the point. So if you say that God wanted evil to exist so that people would make the right choice, it kind of defeats the purpose. If evil doesn't exist, there are only right choices. And if that's what so what's your wants, answer to that? What's your answer to that question? Well, I, I'm going to give you the answer in a moment, but I want to, I want to, I want to make sure I have your answer correct in the logical implication. If you say that God wants us to make the right choice, if evil mm -hmm. does not exist, that's all we have, right choices. So it kind of defeats the purpose to say that God made us in a world where evil exists so that we would make the right choices. So I'm just saying, if, yeah, you, if, if you bring that to I, anyone, I if you bring that to anyone like an atheist, if they're smart, they're going to find the, the inconsistency and contradiction. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Christian, so I'm just, I'm on here to 
prepare Christians for these difficult questions and to answer them if I encounter people who are not Christians and I want to ask them. So the answer to the question is, you ready for it? Mm -hmm. God decreed that evil would exist so that he could use evil for good. Example, the story of Joseph. Joseph said, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good to save many people alive. And as well, Romans 8, 28, God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose, including evil actions and evil deeds, which means that God uses evil for good and he will destroy evil in the end and show us all that he is sovereign, powerful, all good, all loving, all gracious. You get it? Yeah. Oh, no, I, it actually makes sense. Now. Like, there us, there us. There you go, man. So I hope that I was able to help you in some way, shape, or form. If this question ever comes up, why did God allow evil to exist? You say he decreed that it would exist so that he so could he use, can use it, it for good. So that he could use it for good. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But man. I have another question, though. I sure, have another go ahead. question, though. Go ahead. What other tough questions do you have in mind? All right, I'm going to give you this one. Another tough, question, another tough question is this. If God knows all things, mm -hmm. how are we free to do other than what God knows we will do? You understand but you already know. You know your whole future, so you cannot, you cannot, you cannot not do what your life is meant to be. Right. Right, right. There you go, man. You, you, you're thinking logically. So this brings into question free will. What is free will? It is the ability to make choices and actions without being determined by external factors. So if God knows what we will do, then we are determined to do what God knows we will do because we can't choose to do otherwise, which means that if God knows all things, we don't have free will. Because I understand. We, because we can't choose to do otherwise. This conversation yeah. we're having right now, we were meant to have this conversation. Nothing is by accident. God determined yeah. that we would have this conversation, and we could not have chosen to do otherwise, only hypothetically. Only if things were different, then we could have chosen to do otherwise. But because things aren't different, and God has determined how things will be, then we will do exactly what God has determined us to do. So that's how you answer that question. If God knows all things, how do we have free will? The answer is, we don't have free will because we can't choose to do anything other than what God knows we will do. However, we have a will to do what we want to do because all our actions come from our desires. You get what I'm saying? You put that, uh, mm -hmm. that, that blue hoodie on because you wanted to do it, not because you were forced to do it, which yeah. means that we have creaturely, a creaturely will and creaturely control, and God has transcendental and decisive control. Both of them are true, and we should just live in light of that but look at this though if you deny that if you deny god and say you know i don't want to believe in god because if i have to believe in if i have to believe that i don't have free will to believe in god i don't want to believe in god what you're left with is atheism and atheism teaches that we all evolve from apes and bacteria and we are slaves to the natural world, which means that everything we do is our brain reacting to the natural elements of the world for us to do what we do and say what we say. Our brain is just a chemical reaction taking place over and over again to form our words, our thoughts, and our actions, which means that we have no free will in the atheistic world either. But it's even worse because everything you do 
is determined, including your evil actions, and your evil actions have no purpose because there is no personal God behind it decreeing it to take place. Just randomness and chemical reactions in your brain, so atheism is not the answer. Does it make sense? Here you go. I have, I have a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel so that you can jump on and look up all of these things. But ask me again. Ask me another question. Go ahead. Um, how did your how do you know how do you first discover that God was real from reading the Bible? How did I discover that God was real from reading the Bible? No, not not you, but like people in general. How can they discover that God is real from reading the Bible? Yeah. Well, the Bible teaches that everyone intuitively knows that God exists, which means that the Bible does not believe in atheists. There is no such thing as an honest atheist. Because I'm going to tell you why. If I tell you that I don't like ice cream, but every day you see me eating ice cream, are you going to believe my words or my actions? Your actions. Right. That's how human beings are wired. We do, or rather, our actions follow what we truly believe. Our actions follow what we truly believe. An atheist will say that he does not believe in God, whilst at the same time acts as though there is a God. Here's the reason why. If God does not exist, there is no universal moral ethics, there is no truth, there is no justification for science, and there is no justification for the laws of logic. I'm going to unpack that and show you what I'm talking about. No basis for moral ethics. What's that? Whenever you say that something is wrong, you are saying that there is universal moral ethics. If there is no God, there is no such thing as right and wrong. It's just your opinion. But you will hear an atheist saying, rape is wrong, murder is wrong, stealing is wrong, don't do it. Their words and their actions in decrying that stuff, and even this, Racism is wrong. When they say all that stuff, their actions are showing that they believe in universal moral ethics that you can't have if God does not exist. That's number one. Number two, the scientific method. Science is based on induction. And induction is this. The future will be like the past. Therefore, we can make predictions about the future. Example. When you came in your room and you laid on the bed, you assumed that gravity was going to act the same way it did yesterday because you didn't float away. You see what I'm saying? That's induction. But an atheist who does the same thing that you're doing, who lays in bed every night, never thinking for a moment that he's going to float away, he is assuming induction that you can't have without God. Why? Because... God creates all things and sustains all things and keeps them regular. That is why science was invented by Christians. Because Christians believe that since God created everything, then we are supposed to be able to find regularity in the universe and reversibility in the universe and structure in the universe. And that is what we see. Atheists assume induction which they can't have unless God exists. That's number two. Number three is truth. Truth. Atheists believe in truth, but you can't have truth unless you have God. Why? Because truth is dependent upon induction. All the words I'm using right now, I have to assume that they still have the same meaning they had five minutes ago. Everything around us, we have to assume that they are going to be the same way they are five minutes from now. And hence, there is a basis for truth and saying that this is true, that is false, tomorrow the sun will rise, I will walk down the street without falling away, stuff like that. Induction bait is, is dependent upon truth. 
And finally, the last one, laws of logic. I know this is a lot, but don't worry. I have a YouTube channel that you can go on and hear all this stuff again. Laws mm -hmm. of logic. Yeah, I know. The last I already one. subscribed. The laws of logic, the law of non-contradiction, the law of excluded middle, and the law of identity. The law of non-contradiction states this. Something cannot be both true and false in the same way and the same sense. If you're an atheist, in your world, because everything is random, then there is no such thing as a law of contradiction because you can't trust your brain if your brain is just chemical reactions. Everything you say, I can just say, your brain made you say that. Everything you do, I can just say, your brain made you do that because all you are is chemical reactions, which means that if you say that something is contradictory, you can't really know for sure if it is contradictory because your brain is making you say that. So there's no basis for the law of non-contradiction. The second one is law of excluded middle. Something is either true or false. There is no middle ground. Either it's true or it's false. No middle ground. The reason why atheists have no basis for that law is because, again, all they are is the byproduct and results of chemical reactions around them. Everything they do, everything they say, everything they believe is determined by their chemical reactions, including murder, thievery, rape, if an atheist cries about stuff like that and says it is true that it is wrong and is false that it is right, they have no basis for that. And the, and the final one, I want to finish this quickly. The law of identity. Something is what it is and is not what it is not. Everything around us, you can find identity. This is a pen. It is not money. I can't go into the bank and say, here... Here is $100,000 <laughs> because all of us operate on the law of identity. Something is what it is and is not what it isn't. So the reason why atheism can't account for that is because if everything is random, at any moment, this pen can turn into money. At any moment, I can turn into a horse. At any moment, things can all change. Because on the foundation of all things in atheism, the universe came into existence randomly and is operating randomly, which means that anything can happen the opposite of how they are happening now. So just like with the analogy I gave you, the ice cream and me saying I don't eat ice cream, an atheist will say I don't believe in God, but act as though God exists, which means that I'm going to believe what you do, not what you say. So this brings me to the question you asked. How can someone read the Bible and know that God exists? They already know God exists. They are suppressing the truth with their unrighteousness. And all we have to do, like I'm doing right now, is expose the lie that they are trying to live and show them that you do believe in God. You're just suppressing the truth. And you show them from Scripture that the Bible is the Word of God by pointing them to the, the consistent evidence that supports the presupposition that God is real and God exists. With revelation, such as the fact that the Bible predicts the future, it has prophecy, and it has fulfillment of prophecy, and there is no way that the men who wrote the Bible could have known what they knew when they wrote about the coming of Jesus, the crucifixion of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus, and the ascension of Jesus. There's no way they could have known the future unless the God who knows the future told them what was going to happen because God decreed what was going to happen. I know that's a lot to, to unpack, but you can re-watch re all of this stuff on my YouTube channel in response to the question that you asked. And if any of these questions come up when you're encountering atheists or non-believers but you understand what i'm saying right everything <laughs> yeah 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 question of, do you have instagram yeah yeah i do i do let me let me put it in uh ever ton ton the show
Will you follow me back though? Yeah, I will. I will. I I don't have a large following on Instagram, so everyone who follows me, I follow them back. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool. Of course, bro. What's your What's your name? Jaden. Ju Julian. Jaden. Jaden. Oh, nice to meet you, Jaden. I'm Everton, yeah. but I I call myself Adrian because it's easy to remember and easy to spell. <laughs> and my yeah, last. My last name is Kurton. That's my last yeah. name, but I, I, I use King because Kurton is actually it, people mispronounce it and they misspell it as a result. So I just say Adrian King because Adrian is my middle name. So, but you can follow me. Let me check my phone. And did you do it already? Wait, wait. Give me like two seconds. I'll follow you back right now, so you know. I'm not messing like, around. Hold on. Like two seconds. Two seconds. All right, let me see. Um, it's not okay. so, Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Everton Curtain Official. Yep, that's me. What's your profile picture look like? I'm in a burgundy uh, turtleneck. Me. All right. Wait, let me. Where's my camera? Wait. Wait. Oh, no, it's not showing because of the light. Let me turn the light off. Oh, found it. Found it. Found it? Yep. Okay. Okay. Follow me. Let me. Okay, something just came up. Uh, yep. <clears throat> it's I have, not, I have not BSK. Underscore 1804. Yep. 1804. Okay, got you. I'm following you right now. Follow back. You yep. got you I'll got uh your request. I got you, bro. I'll I got you. Your... You got a private account Respect. though. You gotta you gotta let me in. Oh, you don't have any posts. You got zero posts, so I won't see much. Yeah. But uh I, I took I took them down recently. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. No worries, man. I'm so happy that I could help you with those questions and make you think. And uh, just watch my videos on YouTube, and uh, you'll get more information. And uh, God bless yeah. you, man. One love. God bless you too, bro. Oh, a, lot of, a lot of topics. Okay, this looks like it. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. What are you up to? Cool. You what? Is it cold or not? Oh. How was your day? Oh, he's gone. Okay, so we can put a waste on that. Waste here. So we have gospel presentation. We have evil is done. We have why evil exists. <laughs> By other waste. Pen, Jamaica. Pen, pen, Jamaica. Batty boy. Batty boy. Why? No, I don't know, bro. Sorry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Bro, yo, yo. You know. Another waste. No. no. Copyright. Nope, nope, nope. Look, y'all who are watching this video, just skip through all the waste that you see on the time codes. Hey, how you doing, bro? What's up, man? What are y'all? What are you doing? I am on here, educating Christians and defending the Christian faith against unbelievers. That's cool. Are you a Christian? Yeah. How would you answer the question, why does evil exist if God is good? How? Um, just there's bad people in this world, bro. Did God know that bad people would exist? I'm sure he did. That's why he had his only son Could to he wash have... away our sins. 
could he have stopped no, them from existing? I'm sure he could have. So if he didn't stop them, how is he good? I don't know. Maybe 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 it's just part of it. I don't know. Just, this is no. I want you to know, by the way, I'm a Christian. I'm just asking you the tough questions that you might hear from non-Christians. Okay. <laughs> so prior to God creating everything that exists, did he know that evil would come into existence? Yes, right? Yeah. Only until, not until they ate the fruit from the tree, you know? <laughs> but, 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 it, but it goes back further than that. Before he created Adam and Eve, did he know they would eat the fruit? Really? Yes. Possibly. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Could he have stopped them? Right, Maybe. right. You say yes, you're correct. If you say no, then what you're saying is Adam and Eve is stronger than God, which you won't say because that's down a rabbit hole that you don't want to go. So he knew that they would eat the fruit. They, he could have stopped them, but he decided not to. What would you say if someone asked you why? Honestly, I have no idea. What'd she say? Uh, no, he's talking to someone else. Okay, let me give you the answer. Let me give you the answer really uh, quick. The answer is, evil came into the world because God determined that it would come into the world so that he could use evil for good. Example from the Bible. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. Joseph said to his brothers, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, which means that God used the evil for good. One more example, one more. Romans 8, 58. Bible says God causes all things to work together for good, which means that the all things include the bad things that happen to us as Christians. So evil is used for good by God, and in the end, he will destroy evil and show all his creatures that he's all-powerful, all-sovereign, all-good, and that he's righteous. You get it? Yep. There you Stop go. That. Any, other, any other answer you get is going to be wrong. <laughs> Just letting you know this right now. And you will find inconsistencies. And if you bump into an atheist and give them a different answer, if they're smart enough, they're going to be able to point out problems and you're going to be oh my goodness maybe christianity isn't true and then you're out of it you get me you get me yeah, yeah. thank you for listening bro you should follow me on youtube and learn a lot more what's, what's your youtube let me put it in right here adrian king official there we go i educate okay. christians on the christian faith and I defend it against all other perspectives because it's true. It's true. And if it's true, everything else is false. That's the definition of truth. If it's true, it's not false. Nothing can contradict it. All right. Thank you, bro. Have a good one. All right. You too, man. Blessings. All right. Let's do this. Another one. So. Give me, dumbass bitch. Oh boy, another waste. Okay, so uh Did God know? Let's do choose that one. Did God know? Remember guys Oh hi. How you doing? <clears throat> Good. Are you a streamer? Yeah I am. Oh that's why you have that very nice Headphone. Thank you. Are you are you a are you a Christian? Um, I'm a Catholic. The Roman Catholic. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Do, do you know if you are saved right now? If you die, you go to heaven. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good because. The reason why I ask is because I'm aware that in the Roman Catholic system, you have a confessional or a confession situation where you go to a confessional to speak to a priest, 
and he absolves you of all your sins. But if you don't remember all your sins to confess to him, then there are still some sins remaining. And when you die, you have to go to purgatory to purify yourselves from those sins before you enter heaven. But if you say, yeah. if you say that if you die right now, you're going to go to heaven, then I would say, right on, bro. We believe the same thing. Because yeah. I don't think I don't think the Bible teaches the concept of purgatory. What you do if you're a Catholic. Why did you skip? What's up? Ugh. Bob Clot! Bob Boy, I really, really wanted to have a conversation with him about purgatory, and he skipped. Damn. Hello? How's it going, my brother? I'm doing good. I'm just on here having discussions with non-believers, defending the Christian Non-believers of what? Non-believers of God and Christianity. And you're gone. They're gone too, so that was a waste. Waste. Remember, guys, skip through the section on the time codes that say waste. Hey, bro, how you doing, TJ? Other waste. And that's when I knew I won. How you guys doing? Good. Two of you look like very young boys. I'm not a boy. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I could only see half your face. I didn't know. I'm a girl. Thank I'm you sorry. very much. And she's a girl, too. Both of you are girls? Yes. I am so sorry. No, I'm you're so good. Sorry. It's the it's the the hoodie. Very masculine. Yeah, now I see the hair. I, I, I believe you. Yeah, nice to meet you. You you two have a good night now, all right? You too. <laughs> I just skipped through. Wow, you look you you look like the guy they put up on the poster and say it's Jesus. That <laughs> they're they're lying when Jesus was black. Well, I wouldn't say he was black. I would say he was uh mid mi middle I would say he's near eastern, which is brown. Curly Middle Eastern, hair. Middle Eastern, <clears throat> Middle Eastern. Yeah, yeah or, I was born or, in Palestine. Or ancient Near East, ancient Near Eastern. So how they, how those people looked back then, is how he looked, and it was brown, brown skin. But he I'm was, from this. He was not black, and he was not Caucasian. He was something else. When mm, people say yeah. he's either black or white, it's like they're saying there are only two races. There's not. <laughs> there are there are more yeah. than That's, two. I'm, are you from America? I'm assuming, or are you live in America? No, I'm I'm from Jamaica, but my accent came from childhood influences. Oh, no, but I mean, like, you, what you're saying is mostly what Americans assume. Assume. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're right. You're right. That that is definitely the case. They assume they're, they're, that there's only two there's categories. Two races. Yeah. Two, I don't consider myself. White. Two ethnicities, but uh, but yeah. you don't look either white or black. You look yeah. like you're something I'm, else, maybe I'm uh, Middle Eastern. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm actually from the same region that uh, Jesus was born. There you go. There you go. There you go. Maybe and Jesus like me. It's hot over there, isn't it? Uh, there we have four seasons, so uh, it's different throughout the year. And but it, it, in the in the hot time or the summertime, is it like really hot and stuff? It, it does get really hot for like one to two months. Yeah, yeah but so, right now I live, I live in the Caribbean. It's way hot. So would you say that the 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 weather can contribute to how dark people in yeah. the Middle East would be? Yeah. So yeah. that's that's what uh, I well, always say. I'm, I'm from like North Middle East, which is like. It's different from southern Middle East, like in Saudi and more south, like uh, Yemen. 
yeah uh, people tend to be a bit darker skin right but where, where i'm from people are like white actually some of them are like white they you can confuse them for caucasian mm -hmm. that that's like, why i not, say that yeah. jesus is neither black nor white if you say he wasn't yeah. black people think you're being racist if you say he was white they think you're being racist because they lied about how he looked in the photos for years. You're, but, you're Protestant? But he's neither. He's neither. He is. A, he was Definitely. a Jew. He was a Jew, a brown skinned Jew with, with curly hair, the same way Jew, Jewish people look. We have. We know how Jewish people look. And Jesus was a Jew. And that's how he looked. And by the way, Jewish is an ethnicity, it's an ethnicity. And that's the ethnicity that he had. That's the ethnicity he had. So are, are you like, are you Christian? No, I'm Muslim. You're Muslim? Muslim, Muslim yes. Is, is it true that 40 days after you're born, Allah writes out your entire life? Uh, so what I, what I think is that like everything is written for you. Um, and your life is written for you of course it doesn't mean that you can like lay back and like and 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 like let's say it's written for you to be a millionaire for example or it's written for you to accomplish things right you you're, don't... What, what you're saying is it's not fatalistic right yes so, so, so it's not like be, 100%. you should so be there, there, like are, there are some stuff that we are born with free will but that's but, what I wanted to ask you about. If, 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 so free will, when you look up the meaning of it, it is yeah. the ability to make choices without being determined by external factors. But I am of the opinion that if you there can, is no such thing as free will, yeah, I, I, I see where you're going. Right, right. Because what I was going to say is if, if Allah writes out your entire life, then. Yes. Allah's writing of your life is the external determination of your actions that you can't be free from. Because it's like an author. If an author writes a book, the author determines what his characters in the book will do. And that's the closest we can get to even... That's the closest in principle we can get to Allah uh, writing out your days. No, um, it's, it's different. Like an author you you it's it's not a um, accurate metaphor uh i don't you, know you if would that's say, the, the word you would say it's, it's it's an analogy so you'd say it's, it's disanalogous analogy, yeah. in some way it's, it's disanalogous in some way yeah uh different to an author writing a book he'll he knows exactly the characteristics and the the stuff or the actions that these characters are going to make but god um creates you with certain attributes and gives you free right. will you can you can choose um pleasure instant pleasure on life or you can choose um um the way the way of religion you know you you have free will like everybody is born with natural instinct to believe in a god no or a creator whatever right. you want to call it right right and, let, let, let me uh, let me just add on to what you just said in Christianity, we have a similar doctrine, but we say we have the natural faculty ability and we also have the moral ability. And yeah. God, what, what a moral ability is, is desire. So I can mm -hmm. say, I can't kill my daughter. Do I have the natural ability to kill my daughter? Of course, I can, you know, but when I say I can't, I'm saying I don't have the moral ability because I don't desire to. My parental instinct won't allow me to. So there's a distinction there. But if you're saying that we have the natural ability, then it's not inconsistent with Allah being the author of all things. But no, I'm not saying wouldn't, that, you say, but saying wouldn't you say that Allah also writes what you will desire in the future? No. Um, it's pretty clear in the Quran if you study it or if you read it that it says that God creates you with free will. You can choose the way of God 
Allah just means God, by the way. So like even Christians, yeah. Arab Christians, they use the word Allah. And and so Allah Muslim and Muslim means to sub to, to submit your submit will to Allah. Creator. So every Christian, no, if they submit Muslim means the submission of one creator, monotheism, which is uh if you're monotheist mon Oh, oh sorry. I meant well, Islam is the submission uh to one creator and one creator alone. So and, we believe and, that and what, all is, the prophets, and what is Muslim? What does Jesus Muslim and all the prophets were actually Muslim because they believed in one God and one God alone. Right. And later the Quran came as the final draft of the Torah and the Bible. That's what we believe in. And it came to reassure the teachings of the Bible and the Torah and to address the fact that it was tampered with and the people at the time um <clears throat> were using religion for power fame and yeah glory. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question about that but before before i get there i wanted to i wanted to ask you about because you said I, I i haven't read through the quran <laughs> so i have Sorry. to just i haven't read the entire quran yet so i have to take your word for it so you said that allah has written out all our days 40 days after we're born and the quran also says he gave us free will I, can, can you define for me what you mean by free will is it the traditional explanation of free will or is it just the ability to make choices and decisions so look you look so the free will to choose that you don't have a free will to submit like you have this you have society and you have god like you either want to satisfy the people around you or you want to satisfy god do you uh, from the way you dress from the way like the places you go out um it's not influenced solely by you it's not a decision that's influenced solely by you unless you live in a desert somewhere and or like in a in a, in a jungle you're gonna have people influence you like uh, to go out to to drink or to uh dress a certain way right act a certain way so, wouldn't you say that all of those things you just mentioned are external factors that can influence your desire to choose either one yes it's external uh, I, I would say i would say so yeah like external factors definitely um that can influence your desire on on your desire yes and your strongest desire will determine what your actions will be yeah you either ch choose short-term pleasures or um long-term um investments like submitting your will to god right and the follow-up question would be isn't it the case that Allah is the one who has written out or decreed that all of those external factors around you would be there and hence influence you to make a particular decision that he wanted you to make? No, I wouldn't say so. Allah doesn't force you to uh, to to um well, that, choose that, either one. that wouldn't be forced because it would be you freely choosing to do based on the influences around you. Because yeah, that's your, your personal choice. It's not God writing. God doesn't write uh, your day to the letter. Like, let's say, for example, look, it's 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 a complicated subject. I'm yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's why in Christianity, I, we have the same thing, but we actually have answers for these questions. Yeah, we have answers to them. Uh, you're just talking to the wrong person. But what I understand from <laughs> okay, okay. Book, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what I understand from it is that, like, Okay, yeah, you're written like let's say um you're living right now under a roof and everything and an earthquake happened. That's written. It's gonna happen, an earthquake is gonna happen. Let's say you get in a car accident, for example, God forbid, that's written for you. But so the events your actions, your the events is written, but the actions, the personal actions is not written. Okay, that's that's an interesting point. That's an interesting point. But if you think about it deeply, let me repeat it. God has written out the events that will take place, but not the actions and desires yeah, of the individuals. Let's, let, so, me, let me follow. You there? Hello? Oh, boy. I hope he's gone. Okay, you're still okay. there. Can you hear me? Sorry, yeah, I can. So the events yeah, okay. are written, but not the actions and desires of moral agents right 
Yes. Individuals. Uh, I'm assuming right. So. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So, so, I mean, th th this th this is philosophical deep stuff, man. I, I just want to let you know, I study philosophy and I study other religions. So this yeah. is this is deep yeah. stuff. But I'm but I'm saying that what you just said, it, it mm. kind of. I study medicine. Oh, you study medicine. <laughs> yeah, that that. That, that, that's why you're so smart because you're a very smart guy you're yeah. you're thinking about these things and you're articulating yourself very well when you say that god ri writes Thank events you. you're welcome you're welcome but the actions of free agents are not written does god know what the actions of free yes. agents will be uh and, and how does he know does he look into the future? Does he decree that they will happen? Where does where do these things come from? So look, there, there's, there's evil. There's you believe in in Christianity that there's good and there's bad. There's evil and there's there's um there's there's God and there's evil. And you either choose to evil. Like it's not, it's not God's God's. Um, God could create a world where like he can show himself or or um, um, make it so that everybody follows him. But no, God gave us the choice. God gave us the choice to follow him and get a, the reward after the day of judgment or afterlife, um, or you choose to live however many years happy per se uh mm. following your desires and whatnot and then after that you'll be judged okay okay okay, okay. thank you thank you for explaining that to me and the, and the last thing i wanted to ask you about was you mentioned that the quran is the last revelation of allah and it is a continuation from the prophets of the old testament to now and it shows us yes. how the Bible was corrupted over time because the Quran says different things in some places than what the Bible says in some places, right? If you look, if you look into that, um, there is historical errors in, in the Bible, the current Bible, King James Version. Um, there are historical errors. Uh, errors that have been in the 21st century and the 20th century that have been proven that they're errors, historical errors at the time. Like, um, for example, um, in the Bible, it calls king at the time Pharaoh. It calls the, uh, the Pharaoh king. But in the Quran, it came after and it calls the Pharaoh Pharaoh at the time and the king king at that, that, that particular time. There's a video on YouTube. You can find it. I'm just giving you a summary of it. Um, and yeah, like the Christianity at that time said, no, like that it's clearly an error. Like it's, an, it's a miss because um, they, they accused the Quran of being corrupt and of um, Muslims um, copying the, the Bible. But it, if it is, if the Quran did copy the Bible, why didn't it copy the mistakes of the Bible? Because uh, there, there are that's, some that's, similarities. That's, that's a that's, that's, that's a good argument. That's a good argument. Yeah, yeah that's a good argument. But, there, there but are, like, because I I've never heard I've never heard that argument before about the Pharaoh situation, where the Bible is wrong because it calls Pharaoh Pharaoh mm -hmm. and not King. I've never heard that argument before. I'm still learning these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look into that so that I can know if it's true or if it's false and then see if there's an answer for it. But Check I wanted out. to ask you about the, the Gospels, because I'm aware mm -hmm. that Muslims, every Muslim I've met so far, they say that the Gospels have been corrupted because they say different things, such as Jesus is the Son of God. If you read through the book, the Gospel of John, you'll see that over and over again. And because Allah has no, because Jesus is the Son of Mary, or the son of Miriam in the Quran, then there's no Miriam. way he could be the son of Allah. So that's a direct contradiction. 
and what what Muslims will tell me is that the Bible has been corrupted over time, and then I would ask, how? Huh? Sorry, sir. Uh, you continue your point. Say, sorry. say oh. that, that the Bible was corrupted over time, but when you look at the way the Bible was preserved through textual tradition, you would have to be able to identify where the Gospel of John didn't say that Jesus was the Son of God, and then later it did. And that evidence is missing. Where, we, we, like, like for example, the evidence of corruption is missing from the textual tradition. And we have over 2.5 million pages of Greek manuscripts. There would have to be something we could see in the tradition that would be so different, like... Jesus is the son of Mary, and all of a sudden we have all these manuscripts saying Jesus is the son of God. But because we don't have that, what Muslims will tell me is that it's been corrupted at some point, even if we are unable to find the evidence. But that's very hard for me to believe, because what you're asking me to do is believe something because there is no evidence for it, which is kind of backwards. But you can look into that too. You can look into that. Something that there's no evidence for, it. like there is no evidence for the crucifixion of God in in the Bible. In the of, in, of... in the Bible, there is there is there there is there are verses of scriptures that say that Jesus Christ was crucified, and there is historical evidence of people speaking about the crucifixion that are not yeah. biblical, like Josephus and uh, what's his name again. Er, 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 Irenaeus, Josephus, and the fact that the early Christians, such as Ignatius, identified Jesus as his God and as the Son of God and so on. So all of these external stuff from the Bible goes against, because I, I try to have an open mind when I was studying these things, and I'm like, okay, if you say this, I'm going to look into it. Just like you just said the whole situation with Pharaoh. And the king, I'm going to look into that because I've never heard that before. And also, uh, Haman, Haman, was he in the Bible? Haman, who was he in the Bible and who was he in the Quran? And after they um, they uh, figured out the, the cipher's writing or whatever, the, the time of the Pharaoh, the, the writing, you know what I'm talking about? The writing on stones. Oh, the time of the writing of Pharaoh? No, no, no. no. The... Who who was who was yeah the they wrote on stones right in a in a in a specific language and after they uh the, they figured out what the writing meant like years later in the twentieth century or nineteenth century and when they found at what the writing was they found it found yeah. that the Bible so was that, was yeah was that was true. much after the Quran and the Bible okay but the Quran and the Bible speak about Haman okay okay. Speak I'm going to look into I'm that because I, I'm aware yeah. that there are some similarities between the Bible and the Quran. But final question, final question. Um, the Quran came 600 years after, um, well, since Four. I think that Six. Islam started six 630, right? 630 AD. You're wrong. The Quran came 600 years, but Islam was there at the time of Moses. It was there at the time of Jesus. Right, right. I, I would agree that the what 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 Islam the idea means. Of Islam is the the submission right. to one. God, I would which, agree that what Islam means that was around a long time ago because submission to one God. But uh, what I'm asking is, since the Quran came 600 years after the closing of the New Testament, because the New Testament finished was completed in 1995 A.D. and the Quran came 600 A.D. So what, what my question is, is this. If the Bible is true in all that it says in the New Testament, would you agree that believing the people who were eyewitnesses of the events and life of Christ is more reliable than believing someone who wrote 600 years after? Let me ask you a question. It's a follow-up question. Uh... Would you believe the word of God or would you believe 500 witnesses that they thought they saw something? Let's say, okay, I set up five kilometers away or two kilometers away. I set up a crucifixion's 
and somebody that like let's say uh, somebody that looked like me and that i was crucified and people see me from far away and and they think oh it's jesus being crucified in the quran it talks about it, it talks about that jesus was not crucified yeah i know i know i i, I, I read i read that much <laughs> i read that much that it, it was made to seem like he was him on the cross and, and don't you think that god that 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 god is has mercy and like he wouldn't want to sacrifice his own son for the sins of others do you think that's just from a god do you think that that's just well sacrifice you asked me a few you asked me a few questions i don't know which one i should ask you first i'm, I'm gonna ask you the last one i i'm, I'm gonna answer the last one because i i, I study christian theology and christian theology huh yeah. <laughs> the first couple ones were rhetorical i i knew the answer for, uh for them but go yeah, ahead the, answer the, the, the first one you asked about would i believe god or 500 witnesses of course i would yes. believe god but exactly. I, I would say that the, the question has some things missing in it because the Christian would say that the Bible is the word of God. So it would be, are we going to believe what God wrote and we're, what we're is more reliable? In the Bible that Jesus was cru crucified. Uh, sorry, what? Where does it say in the, in the Bible that Je Jesus was crucified? Well, Galatians. Can you uh, verse? Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the fact that Matthew chapter 28 speaks about the Which events. Version? Huh? Which version is that? Want me to give you the the actual passages? No, but which which the version? Uh, which Bible is that? Which Bible is that? I use the New American Standard because it the doesn't it doesn't use all the these and the vows. That's not how we speak anymore. Okay. Yeah, so Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the fact that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John record in the final two chapters of each of them that he was crucified and buried, well, not buried, placed in a tomb, and then resurrected on the third day. All of them say that. Either we're going to say, that they lied, that the Gospels were false, or that they actually took place. And if we say that they lied, then we have to also explain why 500 people and more in the first century claimed to see Jesus, who they saw days before on a cross and dead. And, and all of that. So how did Christianity start? Were, were, were they all hallucinating and that goes against the fact that hallucinations don't happen in groups. It happens individually, and you never find that two people or ten people, for that matter, 500 people in our case, saw the same thing. So, I mean, the, the, these things just that's not true. But gobble that's not my true. mind. At, at the time, I don't know if you know about the tribe Ebonites. Do you, have you heard about them? Yeah, the, the, the Ebionites... They Maybe taught not. that Jesus Christ was a man and not God, and they also taught that I I well, was not crucified. Sorry, what? That they also thought that he was not crucified. Oh no, right? those were the those were the docetics, do, the Gnostics, yeah. the Gnostics. They taught that Jesus Christ wasn't crucified because Jesus Christ wasn't truly a man. He was God who appeared to be a man. And because God can't die, therefore, Jesus never died. But Gnostics were rejected from being Christians in the first century. All of their beliefs, all of their beliefs were out of the spectrum and category of Christian. It's the same thing I would say to someone who says, I'm a Muslim. And then he says, I believe in a trinity. I'm going to say, you're not a Muslim. Stop saying you're a Muslim. Because Muslims don't believe in the Trinity. <laughs> don't say that. So Gnostics, because of their beliefs, and we actually know what they believe, they were not Christian because Christians don't believe that stuff. And, and, and as well, that God is God and Jesus evil. Christ. We're living in a dualistic world where evil and good are equal powers fighting against each other. There's a lot more that goes into what they believe that also Muslims reject. So we, we, we throw the Gnostics out. We throw them out. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody who says they're Christian is Christian.
And not everybody who says they're Muslim is Muslim. Bro, I have met some Muslims. Well, people say they're Muslims. And they don't believe what Muslims believe. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people want to pick and choose what what right. they believe in the religion, you know? And, and I, as a Christian, had to tell people, you're not Muslim because Muslims don't do that stuff. And they'll believe that stuff. You can be a good Muslim and a bad Muslim. Being a Muslim it just means believing in one God and one God alone. Yeah, it also I mean, there mean, are some stuff that take you out of the fold of Islam. Some stuff doesn't it also mean that you submit to the will of God? Yes, you right. submit to the will of God. So if you don't submit to the will of yes. God, and if you walk around saying you're a Trinitarian, you can't be a Muslim. I'm sorry. No. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> but you, you gave me some things to think about. But yeah. I think I, um, I hope I, I hope I gave you some things to think about, too. Even though you're how, a medical how student. Have you talked about uh, how many Muslims have you talked to in your life? <clears throat> well, like actually intellectual Muslims uh, that actually studied religion. I think you would benefit a lot from talking to somebody that I wouldn't, studied I wouldn't religion. be able to say I have I've met any Muslim who's like like an imam, an imam. It was what you call it, right? Imam. Imam. I've never imam. met an imam before. Oh, yeah. I would love to. So that I could ask questions and we could learn from each other because I'm very educated on what I believe and I'm sure that imams are. But the Muslims I've met, I've noticed that Muslim people that I've met, very peaceful people, very loving people, very kind. I've never met an angry, entangerous, mean Muslim before. Yeah. And I mean, the, the way you talk is like you're genuinely interested in learning and it doesn't, it, you're not like attacking the beliefs it's like you seem you're generally interested to learn and right. may god lead you on the right path and and and, and that's how christians should be when we encounter yeah. different beliefs we should try to understand where they're coming from and if we can refute what they say we do but if we can't then we better make sure we recheck what we believe because if i can't refute what you're saying then maybe it's true <laughs> Because truth can't be refuted, right. if you understand what I'm saying. Some stuff like you're saying about like crucifixions, like we weren't there, you know, it's not. But like logically speaking about it, it's just like you think about the power of God. You, I don't think God would want any harm for his son. But we actually do believe in the virgin birth of Jesus. And we believe that yeah, Jesus was I'm, a, I'm aware of that. And there's this man, yeah. named, I, I think it was Sam Harris, an atheist, a popular atheist, says, Muslims don't nurse. Muslims don't believe in the virgin birth. I'm like, what? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you're like they're like, you need Jesus. We're like, yeah, we, we love Jesus. Jesus is our prophet, you know. Right, <laughs> we, right. So I, I'm aware that Muslims believe in in the miracle of the virgin birth and that Jesus Christ is a prophet. But the mm. deeper conversations about our differences and distinctions in what we believe, we can have respectful conversations where we try yeah. to see where each other is coming from. And you can ask me, why do you believe that Jesus Christ is the God-man? And I can ask you, why do you believe that he's just a prophet? And we can have a respectful dialogue. But if I ever meet a Muslim, That's and I've man. only met one, I've only met one so far, very, very arrogant, doesn't want to have a conversation, just keeps no. uttering the words, the Bible is false, the Bible is corrupted, I don't want to have any conversation. I'm like, come on, we we can have a respectful dialogue. You don't have to be like that. <laughs> some people, some people are hanging with a threat to their religion, and they feel fear, like they don't want to be tested or they don't want to think about like uh, different. You know, some people just do it for like cultural purposes or right. Like some people don't are not very connected to the religion, but they have for some reason have hatred towards other religions, like. I see that actually, to be honest, more with Christians, like they're so, um, or like other re religions, they attack other religions like Islam or Christianity, and they don't have knowledge within their religion. Like, well, when when you, you do that, religion, no. when what? they when Christians do that, they are not following what the Bible says as to how we yeah. are how we are yeah. to deal with situations like this. It should right. be with respect and love, not with condescension and meanness and mean-spiritedness. So 
what, what, what I was going to say is, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, is that <clears throat> when we have dialogues about these things, we should always ensure that there is respect and also not be afraid to expose ourselves to other perspectives. Because if what we hold is truly the truth, then nothing can refute it and nothing can destroy it. That is why I, as a Christian, I can talk to Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, and be confident that if what I believe is actually true, they won't be able to refute it. But if what they are saying is true and what I'm saying is false, I have to abandon what I believe and join them. And, th and that's how I think. That's how I, that's how I believe. We should always seek to believe the truth, what the truth is. And if we find ourselves to not believe the truth, we must change our perspective right away. So that's what I try to do in these conversations. And, mm -hmm. I, I, and as, as you said, I've never spoken to an imam before. I'm actually going to try to see if I can speak to one. And, uh, you can and speak to the one. You can just go to a mosque. Uh, you live in Jamaica, right? Yeah, there are mosques here yeah. in Jamaica. That's what I was thinking. I'm going to try yeah. and see if Look, I can go to one. Mos Muslim imams are very welcoming. They will be more than happy to answer your questions. Don't be afraid to go to a mosque. And I'm pretty sure once you sit with them, have a conversation with them, don't don't um, feel like you're going to offend them. Just you can ask whatever question they have. People that have studied the religion and would be more than welcoming. Well, I'm and sure if I go there with a mean spirit, I'm going to probably offend somebody. But that won't be the case. Well, look, even, even if you go there with a mean spirit, with an aggressive tone, they're going to be able to like calm you down and they're going to put a smile on their face and they're going <laughs> to ask very good questions. But if you're just going to go there and be like, Jesus Christ is the way, he's the God. Of course, yeah, that's... But uh, for the most part, they're going to be welcoming and they're going to tell you like whatever questions you have, whatever yeah. comments, concerns, and they're going to be able to answer. Yeah, I and have I have a YouTube channel, so I try to make yeah. content on these things and not just Islam, but other perspectives and especially atheism. Somewhere. Especially atheism, because atheism mm -hmm. is destructive to everything. And yeah. uh I'm going to ask them if they if they are OK to be on camera. But if not, then I'll just educate myself off camera with the imam. But uh, I hope it will be a respectful conversation, a loving one. I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to the imam. So uh, these questions about the knowledge of God and him determining events that take place in time, but not the actions and desires of the moral agents. You know, in my mind, think... there's a disconnect. But I'm going to speak to one of them about that. No, I think they would, they would be okay to be on camera. There are, uh, there are religious figures that are famous on on YouTube. I'm pretty sure you can also talk to them uh, or try to talk to them. And there, if, it's if I can be, reach them, if I can reach them, yeah, if you can reach them. <laughs> but they host like Q and As and stuff like that. Maybe you can hop on that. Yeah, uh, definitely. I don't know if you listen, if you've ever listened to Muhammad Hijab. He's pretty educated on the matter. Uh, yeah, men. yeah, yeah. I have, I have, I have listened to him before. He had, there's this guy. Do you know David Wood? David Wood, yeah. He actually that was intellectual slaughter to David Wood. David Wood. <laughs> I, I don't like David Wood's approach in his apologetics against Islam because it, it's it's more of a it's more, it's of, more a, of an attack on Islam than an, like an back attack. Of and a, yeah. a bully he's like he's like a bully to the movement i i, yeah. I like i like to watch debates with james white and muslims because james white is very respectful very loving and he right. actually tries to engage with the muslim ideas and ideologies and beliefs without trying to condescend and disrespect the 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 the, 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 the actual people and there's this other guy sam shamal sam shamam or Shimon, <clears throat> he calls he calls he calls you names. He calls you stupid, dumb, foolish, crazy, pedophile. Sam Shimon, I've, I've I've listened to Sam Shimon's, but Sam Shimon's is he he's disrespectful to people that are disrespectful to him, which is understandable. But he also talks to people that are underqualified, and he he said that he studied the Quran. 
but he picks like one verse of the Quran in a con, it, and it takes it out of context and like okay, makes, okay, yeah, yeah. but and, uh, and that's another thing. That's very another educated thing. person. <clears throat> he's a very educated person. I like the way he talks. That's another most. thing. I I don't like when Muslims take the Bible out of context, so I don't <clears throat> take the Quran out of context, and because I haven't read enough of the Quran. I try not to quote it. If I quote it, it'll be quoting something to ask a question about it, to hear what they have to say, but not to say, hey, here's a verse and this is what it means, so you're wrong about this or that X, Y, and Z. Yeah, some, I, some verses are self-explanatory. Some of them were written in the time of war. or It's, it's really like understanding the, the history between, like that was the verse that was written in. And, and that makes you understand the context of the verse. But besides that, a lot of the stuff is just self-explanatory and easy to write. Like the, the Quran is written in Arabic. And in Arabic, a word can mean 10 meanings. And like, uh, yes. I have, a, I have a Quran right here and I have another one right here. <clears throat> I'm reading through it. Yeah, but, you're annotating it. Yeah, nice. And I'm... Um, and, um, taking notes but Buddy, yeah because i want to be how can i say i want to rightly and correctly accurately rather represent islam when i speak about it i don't want to say look, anything are, that are you reading it with the same open mind you read the bible or are you reading it to refute it no that's, i'm I'm, that's... I'm reading it to understand it that's the first thing but why do you want to understand wanna... it so I can know what the book, what what the Quran says, so I can have knowledge about it, so that I can. Do you, do you, have... give, it, do you give it the same, the same um, fairness that you give the Bible? Do you like look at it as as a holy book, or do you look at it as just like a philosophy book, for example? Well, how do you how do you view it? I would view it as I view it as a holy book because yeah. it is respected and revered by billions of people in the world. And I think that with that reality, you should have some respect and reverence for a book that is viewed by so many people to be the word of God. That, is why, that is why I would never burn a Quran or rip a Quran. That's terrible. That's 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 just wrong. Why would you do that? And do you know? and and say you're a Christian, right? So, but because I'm a Christian, I believe that the Bible is the word of God, and I read the Bible like it's holy, the same way. Because as I said, I haven't read through the entire Quran. So, Why can't the the Bible and the Quran be the word of God? Why does it have to be one or the other? Because both of them say contradictory things. <laughs> but as you said, yeah. as you said, one is one has been corrupted. And I'm sure that you can you would agree with me that if the Bible has been corrupted, then both of them are contradictory because the Quran says Jesus Christ was not crucified and the Bible teaches that he was. That's direct contradiction. So one has to be right, but both of them can't be true because it violates the law. No, the Bible, the Bible didn't say that. The Bible, the original Bible didn't say that. The old version didn't say that. The Old Testament did not say that. That's the New Testament that was written. The Old recently. Testament. The Old Testament, yeah. But but wouldn't you say that the Injil, the Injil is the gospel? Yeah, the gospel. And the and the Injil, would you say that it was written by the apostles of Christ? I'm not sure who wrote it. No, I can't answer you on that yeah but anyways i don't want to i don't want to keep you you're a medical student okay. and i'm sure that you have a lot to study yeah, I, I i i don't study medicine anymore i've studied medicine not anymore let me put my youtube channel in yeah because please. you I was gonna ask. <clears throat> you rose a lot of questions that and a lot of objections that i didn't know about and i'm gonna is study. this recorded yeah yeah Am I going to be on your YouTube channel? Yeah, if that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Because, yeah, no I mean, I think that this conversation can be a model for 
what Christians and Muslims should seek to have, open mind, respect, love, and actual genu gen genuity. G genuity. That's if genuine I'm, unity. If I'm, if I'm even pronouncing that word right. <laughs> I don't know if it's a real, <laughs> a real word. But oh yeah, like, I, I respect that you're reading the Quran. I've tried to read the Bible. I've read a couple verses of the Bible. Well, it's, it's apples and, and oranges because the Bible is, is way bigger. It's way yeah, way it's, more it's it's a lot it's a that's lot that's why that's why i have a problem with muslims say hey there is no christian who has memorized the entire bible but there are lots yeah. of muslims who memorize the quran oh come on man there's no the, the way quran, the quran <laughs> in, in in arabic it's written in such a beautiful way that if you understood arabic you would understand that it cannot be, it could, could have not been written by a human being like you can't say that muhammad wrote it because muhammad was an illiterate man that didn't know how to read and write and even the the people of the time understood you know like the people of the time understood that there there were poets in the area that muhammad was and they understood that there's no way that a man wrote it and there's no that's, way that you wrote it. that's why they and, call the quran a and miracle and muhammad he knew him as as the, an honest man like everybody knew him as an honest man and he would he had never lied like if he said that uh, there are people who are gonna attack us he stood on a mountain said that people are gonna attack they would believe him and he was known to be an honest man they just didn't want to believe or didn't want to commit to god you know those are the disbelievers the disbelievers are the people that believe in a god but don't want to pursue um don't want to worship God. Yeah, yeah, we and we we we, we identify those. There are people like that that we we have yeah. in a particular category. They they have a form of godliness, but they deny its power, and so on and so mm -hmm. forth in Christianity. But thank you so much for being so respectful and so loving. I'm gonna no look problem. into everything you said, and I'm glad that I could have been the same for you as well. Can you? Uh... Do you have an Instagram or any social media that you can notify me when the, whenever you upload? Because I, I I couldn't turn on notifications for your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a, I got an Instagram. Everton. Everton. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, every time I post something, it'll pop up. But what you'll always see is that whenever I post anything about Islam, it will always be respectful and it will always be with the intention of actually dealing with the issues and understanding what yeah. what I'm doing. It's, it's never going to be mean spirited and bullying. That, that'll never happen because that'll be me acting inconsistent with what I say I believe. Which is yeah, that that wouldn't be very um, that would be Christian. That yeah. wouldn't be Christian exactly. Right, right. And right. it wouldn't have been Muslim of me to do the same. Right, right, right. Yeah. So when I see when I see people from both sides doing it, it's just a disappointment. It's a disappointment. Yeah, um, I I see that happening a lot in the UK and America. It's like speakers' corner. People oh, that's that's Even... the best example. I could not bear to be there. I, I wouldn't be able if I'm talking to a Muslim and he's being like that all in my face and shouting over me and I I, I, would, I would walk away. People would think, hey, the Muslim beat the Christian because I'm not going to involve myself in that. I'm out of there. I'm out. <laughs> it's civil conversations like this. Can you give me an example of, of a Muslim bullying a Christian in the speaker's corner? There's just so many. There are like so many so-called like influencers, Muslim influencers. There's this guy called Uncle Omar. I don't know if you know him. Uncle but Omar. He's, yeah, he's such a bad representation of Islam. He's like a. He's like a. Does he have a? Is that like a short hair, point pointy nose? He wears glasses. Short Where's... hair, pointy nose. I'm not sure. Okay. No, he he looks a bit fat. He looks like an like an uncle. He has a, a white beard. He's oh, the one that oh. says. Does he, does he wear shades? He wait. I can just look him up. I can just look him up. Hold on. I'm gonna look him up. Uncle Umar. I think I know who you're talking about. Wait. Wait a minute. Does he 
set up like uh, a mm -hmm. section in a park and Wait, one Uncle second. Uma. Just... Oh no, actually no. Yeah. No that guy I... is such a <laughs> No, no, yeah, I he... have I've never seen him before. Never encountered him. But that that's the thing with me. If I encounter a Muslim that's being a bully, I yeah. mean, you, you don't really get anywhere watching stuff like that. So I would probably skip him if I probably encountered him already and skipped him because I don't listen to the Sam Shimon yeah. because a lot of... sorry, I don't, uh, listen to, Sam... I don't listen to Sam Shimon a lot because, as you said, when he gets disrespected, he does the same thing back, which is not Christian. You're not supposed to do that. If you're disrespectful to me. I should still be respectful to you. I should still love you. I should still be courteous to you. So you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed uh, to. I would like to see Sam Shimon argue with a person of knowledge. Like so many Muslim, um, like Muhammad Hijab has challenged him to, to uh, debate, but he's like shying away from it, which yeah, is, I don't know really? why. <laughs> yeah. All right. All he's right. A, you know, like, you know, go, go. A backyard boy david wood up <laughs> you know like uh, yeah i mean bro, yeah i need i, I need yeah. to look into this some more i my studies yeah. on islam is is minute it's minute i need to go deeper they're starting with the quran that's good i um, understand i mean that's the best way to start and i wish that that's how uh, 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 most muslims started as well because i'm aware that a lot of muslims <laughs> they are afraid to read the bible because they they don't want to expose themselves to what it says. Is it true that yeah. in, in well, I don't uh, think I don't think why I think that is it like, true that in 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 uh in countries where it's predominantly Muslim you can't even have a Bible in your home. No, that's not true. That's or, not true. Or it, if if you're caught with a Bible, you could be like attacked. No, I mean Saudi Arabia is a, is an example of that. You're allowed to have uh bible for personal for personal studies like um, i have a friend that is christian he lives in saudi arabia yeah you're not allowed to there's no churches there but there are people that um, are, go to like house and group studies and do bible studies and yeah like like it's, church it's, houses like church you're houses. you're allowed you're allowed to have like a copy of the bible I think there are limited amount of copies. I don't think it's a problem if you have one copy. There are like different books that are not allowed, though, which is like magic books and stuff like that. But the Bible, it's I'm pretty sure it's allowed, and okay. you can look it up. It's not something that's hidden. Okay. It's, uh, it, it would I it would probably say, I'm assuming it would probably say you're not allowed to have up to like ten, ten. Um, in one household of the in in oh. like travel traveling wise. oh oh okay. Like okay if you can't travel with more than 10 bibles like okay maybe i'm not sure but i don't know i don't, I don't see why that would be an issue i, I don't to know me. either that's why i'm asking but yes. as, even, as, it, as i'm studying like, more into this i'm gonna look into all that stuff so i can be well informed on the matter because i don't like to say things and <laughs> be wrong about it especially since i'll be documented as saying stuff that are wrong <laughs> i don't want that to happen so uh but uh i didn't there get your name i didn't get your name what's your name muhammad oh there you go <laughs> muhammad <laughs> my name is everton Sa salam alaikum wa alaikum salam all right man it was lovely There's... talking to you yeah sorry one one more one more uh uh to answer to follow up on your question like you're saying about like a muslim dominant country yeah uh, <clears throat> if they follow sharia law and teachings of islam there is su uh, surah in the bible it's uh chapter 30. <coughs> it's called al-kafirun the disbelievers uh, it goes like say oh this believer do not worship what uh we do not worship what you worship nor are you worshipers of what we worship. <clears throat> nor will I be a worshiper of what you worship. No, nor will you be a worshiper of what I worship. For you is your religion, and for me is my religion. Which basically means that you have a religion, and I have a religion, and where we have free will to follow whichever religion 
we um, desire or we want. So, so the the Quran so like, teaches. Yeah, the freedom, Quran. You, yeah, you would freedom say the, of, the Quran teaches freedom of religious expression. Yeah, um, yeah, like it, just because you're not a believer of the Quran doesn't mean that you deserve death or you're for you is a religion and for me is a religion you know that's okay. that's what it says so like say it that, was talking about so time where people were trying to divert them divert muslims from religion and like forcefully which that's when the verse came down is saying that um like for you as a religion and for me as a religion you know we each have free will to worship whoever we want or whichever religion we want can you can you state that again what uh surah surah what ayat what al kafirun it's in the quran right you read that from quran, the quran yeah you can search search it up or you can find it in the quran let what, me check what, it out what, what chapter is it chapter one chapter 30 chapter, chapter 30 30, 30. Let, me, let me see on on i have an app the i have it on the app <clears throat> and i know that you say ayat for verse ayat yeah uh, which, um, what what verse sorry i'm i don't know off the top of my head but it's towards the end um let me check towards the end of the book it's not towards the beginning. uh 109 100 109 One zero chapter thirty, hundred and nine. Yeah. yeah. Chapter thirty has sixty sixty verses. Wait a minute. Chapter thirty, yeah, there it's divided to different chapters, and there's also that you can uh, there's surahs. It's surah one hundred and nine, which is surah one. There's one hundred and fourteen surahs. It's surah one hundred and nine. So if you start from the last surah. You go back um, five surahs. All right, all right. I'm or six to... surahs. It's su six surahs back. Well, so you... like start and end, end you and. You typed it in, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look okay. that up. Thank you, man. Thank you so no much. Problem. Well, well, ho ho hope. Well, you you're following me, so we'll keep in touch. All right. And the the order of the Quran is it's uh, from the longest surah to the shortest surah. So if you start from the end, it's like short short surahs. Aren't aren't Qurans made w w uh, when they're copied? Aren't they placed in 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 order from front to yeah. back? Yeah. Uh, in English translations. Yeah. I think yeah. I think I'm I'm not sure. I don't. I read the Arabic version. Oh. Oh, you go to the original. That's one of the yeah. things I want to do too. I want to, <clears throat> I want to try and learn some Arabic. So, when I'm speaking about the Quran, I can use the actual Arabic words. So, there is it's, 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 it's in my it's in my uh, it's in my plan to buy an Arabic Quran and try to learn minor portions of Arabic. So. Whatever I'm talking, or at least have an app or a dictionary or something on my phone where I can look up an Arabic word in the Quran mm -hmm. in seconds. Say, hey, this is what it means. And if I, if I see a word, I can look up the multiple meanings the word can have in English. Because I'm sure there has to be Arabic words that have multiple English meanings, right? Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. is Cause in, the, in the Surah. I don't know. I don't know if you have to go or you feel bad that we're talking. I can't really tell. <laughs> Your no, heart no, it's o it's okay. It's okay. I I was actually yeah. thinking the same thing. If you <laughs> wanted to go, <laughs> it's because we we we've, we've been talking for a while. What time is it I over got there? Sometimes before it's twelve. You're in Jamaica, right? It's close. Yeah, it's so close it's a, it's eleven o six. I'm from Kersa. I've met a lot of Jamaican people. It's good, man. It's yeah. good. We we, my, we tend to be nice people. My dad uh, traded with uh, Jamaicans, so my dad, when he speaks English, English, he speaks in a Jamaican accent. It's the funniest thing ever. Have you ever seen an Arab 
uh, Arab accent with a Jamaican accent. <laughs> no, no, that's actually very interesting. Yeah. Wait, do you do you, do you have Facebook? Uh, yeah, I do have Facebook. It's my first name and last name. This is this is this is my Facebook. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to have to go because okay. Uh just to answer your your question the the different meanings of the word uh, in the first in the first surah al-Fatiha uh, the opener the opener there is um it says Malik Yawmiddin and some people say Malik Yawmiddin which is spelled the same one means the owner of the day of judgment and one say the master of the day of judgment but it does not change them the meaning of it does not you can be the owner and the master of the day of judgment like it's the same meaning basically in a right. nutshell right and because the the new testament was written in greek and the old testament hebrew and aramaic there are words in the original language that can have multiple meanings in the english but not contradicting each other like the example you gave owner and master so I understand where you're coming from. Thank you so much for the, for the education. The reason why I got to run is because I got to get up early tomorrow for oh, sorry. an event. Yeah, but I can't find your uh, Facebook. I tried to search you tried it up. to? Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Let, let me find you. Let me find you. Hold on. Is there spaces in between? Yeah. Everton Curtin. Let me go on my Facebook and type your name in. Uh, hold on. Mo Everton, Everton, official Everton. No, that's not you. Oh. This looks like you. That looks like a retired skateboard. <laughs> well, the, the 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 one at the top, Everton Curtin official. That no no space, but that's the Instagram. The that's the, it. the one at the bottom is uh, my Facebook. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh okay. man. Uh, M H I M I. Oh, I found you on Facebook. You have 3.5k friends. I sent you self employed Sandy Bay, Jamaica from lives in Sandy Bay, Jamaica. right? That's me. That's me. Did you just send a friend request? Yeah, wait, let <sighs> me okay. Let me go to my friend request list and uh, accept you. Okay, Shaveen McNabb. It's not Who's you. The, no. It's double M E D. No, the, what 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 just came in was a comment from someone. It wasn't. Maybe it's taking a it's having a delay. Hold on, Mohammed. Is it uh? Are you uh, went Your to friend, Karakoa, Kur, Kur, Curacao, Kur, Curacao, American Preparatory Kur School? Okay, that's you. But there's no picture. That's why I had to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I will I, follow I, you. Follow you, confirm. Follow you on Instagram too. I'm gonna say, I don't even know how to spell Salam Alaikum. Salah. Salam Alaikum. There's no right ways. <laughs> alaikum. <laughs> yeah, I just sent you something. Salam Alaikum. It, it, it's spelled wrong, but it's all right. I, 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 yeah, there you go. There you go. We're connected. I we'll see. talk. We'll talk all again. Right. All right. If I have any questions as I'm learning. I, I, I can contact Hello. you and I'll let you know how my imam situation is going. If you want, I can set up a conversation with the, my local imam if the imams in your area are not. That, that, that'll be great. That'll be great. Yeah. We could do that. But you, you'll, you'll know how things are going. And yeah. maybe the first, the first imam course. I speak to will be the one that you provide. We'll see how it goes. Okay. If if um if it's not possible for for you just to have a sit down conversation i'll ask my local imam maybe you can stream it or yeah uh, yes, that would no that problem. would definitely be 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 something definitely thank you man All right. salam alaikum thank you wa alaikum salam very very nice man all right i'm going to get off of this that was a long conversation man Okay, everyone, make sure that you look at the time codes, the time codes, and from the time codes, you click on 
the topics that were dealt with and you skip over the sections that say waste, okay? Don't waste your time. Skip over those things and look at the topics. All right, have a good day, everyone.